this is the type of thing that actually gets me excited. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a muffler for my WX15 water pump. Now I have watched a ton of videos about guys taking their generators and trying to silence them. Sort of two main strategies. One is a giant, highly impractical box they build around it with a fan to keep it from overheating. Not gonna be doing that. And the other is they throw an extra muffler on it. It's typically a big car muffler or a motorcycle muffler or something they've you know home built out of an old fire extinguisher. A little bit bulky, looks a little bit heavy. I'm gonna be building a small muffler. I'm basically just gonna build a, a better frame for this. So one of the issues I have, this little plate at the bottom, when you're in uh, the side of one of these, you know, lazy prairie rivers, there's this muddy, mucky stuff kind of in the sides, and this tends to sink itself down and then mud starts getting into the bottom of the pump here. So I'm gonna build a stand out of square tube aluminum that just holds this up just a slight little bit. And then I'm actually gonna direct the exhaust through that entire stand and out the other end and I'm gonna put a few baffles in and I'll show you what's going on. But my hope is that I can get a slightly better stand for this pump without adding any weight and double that up to actually make it a fair bit quieter as well. So we're gonna get right into it and uh, hope for the best. I basically just want to copy this base but make it a little bit bigger and when I get to the muffler here, it's got to be far enough out that I can, you know, tie into that. Nine and a half by 11 is what we're going to go with. And this will make sense in a second, hopefully. To 45, we're going to go 11 and then 10. Bunch more to go. We're still not making perfect sense here. This is gonna be blocked off, that's gonna be blocked off. So this is one chamber and this is a second chamber and they're not connected at this point. But hear me out, it's all gonna make sense. This is a 17 millimeter inside diameter. This is a 21 millimeter inside diameter square tube. This has a area of uh, 227 square millimeters versus 441 square millimeters in this. So it's essentially twice the size tubing. We're not gonna be adding a bunch of resistance, plus it's a four stroke engine, and it's not gonna be that bad. The exhaust is gonna come down and enter it right here. And then this is gonna be in a chamber that just ends and it's gonna be full of some of this. This is a stainless steel scrub pad. I bought a three pack of these at Canadian Tire for like $3. That's gonna be my steel wool, sort of my glass pack packing. So. 50% of the sound is going to go this way, 50% is going to go that way. Everything that goes this way is going to bounce around on this a little bit and be diminished before it reflects back. And then we're going to come across here, same thing. This will be a little end covered with the, or filled with all that packing. So it's going to go through here. So you can see I've, I've drawn a little hole. I'm going to cut that out. Not sure what the best way of doing this is. So I'm going to drill four corner holes. Now you could actually just leave a bunch of holes here for, I don't know if that'll help sound at all, but I just want to make this as open as possible so I'm not really affecting my flow. I don't think that's an issue though. A little cordless Dremel here. This was actually gifted to me by Brendan. Thank you, Brendan. Old neighbor of mine. God, I love cordless tools. All right, so I don't wanna to get too crazy with the porting and everything, but that should basically allow, you know, exhaust to travel fairly free of resistance. Looks like I'm almost out of argon, but I should have enough for a little project like this. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna need my inlet hole here, my outlet hole here, and just before I do that, I wanna make sure that I stuff some of this into these ends. So here's my little visualization. Exhaust is gonna go down into here, follow this hot exhaust path all the way across here and out here where it's gonna exit. At this end, so this will just be closed off completely, that's where I'm going to pack some of this stainless steel stuff to absorb sound. And then again here, it's gonna go straight into all this stainless steel stuff to absorb sound and have to turn sideways. More stainless steel stuff and more stainless steel stuff. So that should be a lot of 
you know, corners to absorb noise. And in order to keep this stuff put, so I want to stuff some in here and I don't want it to over time jiggle over here and then block my flow. Because if that was stuffed right inside the whole thing, it actually add a lot of resistance to the exhaust. So this rivet is just going to stick down into there. And then from the end, it makes a nice pin. Even when I, you know, pop that rivet, it'll, it'll still leave a bunch in there. It doesn't need to be packed too tight. I just want something, you know, get a little, a little bit of mass in there and uh, help absorb some sounds. Getting there. The big moment of truth. It's a Honda, Japan, Imperial, or metric. 10 mil? Yes, we have a winner. I love how these are completely not seized or rusted into place. It's been running by the side of a river. 2013, 10 years ago I bought this thing. I wonder if they have anti-seize in this or if it's just the way uh, bolts into aluminum work. Very nice. I wonder how much gold is in all of this river sand. Anyways, that is my template, and I'm basically going to drill those four holes into this aluminum plate, cut this piece off, just an old project. Uh, I'm basically just going to clamp this to this, and then drill through these holes to get the holes in the exact same position, and then it should just bolt right back up into the bottom of this. This big bulky thing, this huge quarter inch plate and all the heavy stuff I just put in, um, I probably could have done that with thinner material, but I was curious, what is the weight? So this weighs 1.25, well, whatever, 1.26 kilograms. But then this old plate made out of steel, it is surprisingly heavy. That weighs 1.085 kilograms. So the, the total difference is only 174 grams or 0.38 of a pound. So the total pump with this nice big base raised up pump and the whole muffler thing, I mean, there's going to be like, you know, this weighs nothing, but like a little vertical piece here and there, but essentially less than half a pound of added weight. This is going to be the, the vertical for the exhaust. And I've got couple of welding rods I put through there and I'm gonna stuff this in there and cap it. Just about ready to throw the engine on permanently here. So just to recap, exhaust goes in here, down here, as it sort of the sound waves go in both directions. Here's a chamber with that uh, steel wool to collect the sound, then goes over here, over here, steel wool chamber, and then the exhaust goes across there, another steel wool chamber, around here, steel wool chamber, and it exits up here. And then I've taken this nozzle right here, so let's get it so it focuses in. And I've just sort of rounded this inside as, uh, you know, aerodynamically as possible. That's going to face down like this. And that will just be a little nozzle on the top. It's fairly vertical, but just to keep it away, like when the pump sits here, I'm just sort of pointing it away from the pump slightly. And uh, having that going vertical, I'm hoping will have the effect of sort of throwing the exhaust away from me. Like if the wind is coming towards you, even with the exhaust pointing away, it still sort of percolates along the ground back to you. So I'm hoping that this will shoot it up into the air like a semi truck and you won't have any exhaust smells no matter what direction the wind is going. Prior to doing all of this, I actually filmed a decibel test outdoors. I've got the camera set a specific distance from where the pump is and I did it with the exhaust facing the camera and with the exhaust facing to the side. We'll sort of see what the difference is there. Here the exhaust is pointing up in the past, I've done a thing where I just onto the existing muffler, I sort of point the exhaust up with a couple copper fittings, and I didn't really notice any sound difference doing that. So if this is quieter, it's because it's actually acting as a muffler. And uh, like all the sound is gonna come out this blue tube here. So if I just sort of go into this, it sounds dead when you, you know, play it like a trumpet. Cause you know, it's a trumpet, right? I just built a trumpet, come on guys. Musical instrument builder, Kyle, professional.
So, at idle, it sounds significantly quieter. I'll overlay what the decibel meter reads when I do these same tests on the decibel meter. Um, at full throttle, it still seems pretty loud because a lot of that sounds coming from the engine, like all the clattering around the engine, and you're only really gonna get rid of that if you uh, had like a water jacketed block or something like that. I could potentially take some silicone or something and put it over the valve cover to try to pull some sound out of that, but I typically don't run full throttle. I'm a little bit up off idle, and so where I see the most difference with this, I'm actually gonna see the most significant results where I, where I use it most. Um, generally happy. Like, I don't know how the sound's gonna come out with me talking and that, well, here I'm halfway in between and the helicopter's flying overhead, so you probably hear the helicopter louder than that thing. Like, it's quiet idling away now uh, compared to before. So I'm happy. It was a good project. It took about six hours. I'm sure you could get that down a lot, uh, a lot lower if you were building multiple in a row, but you know, by the time I get my tools out, scratch my head and figure it out. You know, it was, a, it was a good half day, a little fun in the garage yesterday, and I'm overall happy with how it worked out. Yeah, it's just popping straight up like a semi-truck. I'm actually curious how my voice sounds next to this, because I'm, I'm not really raising my voice. Whereas before it was a little puttery. 